I'm not gonna spoil the Watchmen book, at least I'm gonna try not to, because my gut feeling says that you likely haven't read it. And the reason why you possibly haven't read it is because, unlike most graphic novels nowadays, you flip through the pages of Watchmen at the store and notice that each panel has a shit ton of words, which admittedly can be intimidating. Now, no, I'm not judging you, I was like that too. But, uh, I eventually did pick up The Watchmen, and I read it quite recently. I'm gonna get the superficial shit out of the way first. The art style in Watchmen is pretty fantastic. Now, there has been complaints about, uh, something called the Cal Art style in most comics nowadays. Admittedly, I don't like the term Cal Art style because there is such thing as different forms of art that have been labeled as the Cal Art style. And one of the common criticisms of comics nowadays is that the art style has been Super Cal Arts. Now, after watching Jay Longbone's videos on Gotham High, I do agree that many of the modern art comics have terrible art, but I wouldn't consider that a Cal Arts situation. However, I do understand why people wouldn't like Cal Art style art in comics, especially after looking at the stylized art in The Watchmen, because it is really good. Watchmen is probably one of the only stories I can think of where they somehow managed to have the colors pop, and yet all the images still look disturbing and gritty. A nice balance to it, I would say. It's a hideously beautiful, it's disturbingly pleasant. Uh, that type of stuff. Well, like I said, I'm not going to spoil the actual plot, but I will say some things about it that may spoil uh, what the story is kind of like. Though I'm sure you get somewhat of a picture of what it's already like due to its reputation, but my digress. The Watchmen is one of those stories where on the surface it seems like it's full of itself. It's super dark and edgy and disturbing, and many of the characters talk super pretentiously. I wouldn't blame people reading the first few chapters of this story and getting the impression of, Wow, this is overrated garbage. Edgy. Holy shit. Just pretentious. Wow. However, I recommend continuing reading the story, because the more you read, the more you realize that the story knows exactly what it's doing. It is super dark and disturbing, yes, but there are moments of longevity to it. There are forms of comedy and some lightheartedness. And as for the pretentious dialogue, it turns out that's only from certain characters, as there are characters that do speak regularly in this book. So I recommend not waving the story off as just pretentious bullshit. There is actual substance to it. And you might have noticed I said chapters, because yes, this book has chapters, and they're all literally about 25 to 27 pages each, I think. And there are also these article-like segments in between each chapter, and they have a lot of words on each page, but I do recommend reading them too, because not only do these article-like pages advance the world building some more, and make it make some more sense, but it also give us a little more context of the stories about this book. Because Watchmen is really fucking ambiguous. Like, there are so... Uh, it's not so ambiguous where the plot straight up doesn't make sense. There is still natural cause and effect to it. But how the reader is supposed to feel about many situations is ambiguous. This story does not hold your hand, which is why I recommend this story to full-grown adults. Well, I mean full-grown adults by the mind, because especially nowadays, I notice that there are many adults that still act like children, and vice versa. I recommend this story to the mature reader, to someone who is willing to read a lot of words, even in a graphic novel, and to someone who is able to suck in a very dark, disturbing story without instantly jumping into conclusions of how they feel, because this story really makes us think. It certainly made me think. And there are still aspects about it that I'm going back and forth over of whether I should feel this way or that about a certain character and such like that. But I will say this. I have enjoyed this graphic novel. It's not my personal favorite, but really that's because the amount of dialogue in it is not usually my cup of tea. I like different forms of writing. However, just because it's not my cup of tea doesn't mean it's bad. The Watchmen is fantastic, and I highly recommend it, even to the people that aren't usually into superhero comic books and such. But yeah, that's all I have to say about the Watchmen comic book. Peace.